daily prayer for the 29th of March. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. My trust is in you, O Lord. I have said, you are my God. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We glory in your cross, O Lord, and praise and glorify your holy resurrection, for by virtue of the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Psalm 27, verses 1 to 8. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom then shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host encamp against me, my heart shall not be afraid. And though there rise up war against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing have I asked of the Lord, and that alone I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the fair beauty of the Lord, and to seek his will in his temple. For in the day of trouble he shall hide me in his shelter. In the secret place of his dwelling shall he hide me, and set me high upon a rock. And now shall he lift up my head, above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his dwelling an oblation with great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter, James and John, and began to be distressed and agitated. And he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, an hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. Not what I want, but what you want. The little boy waited with absolute patience for his moment. He could only have been two or three, but he timed it to perfection. The moment his mother turned away, he was off, running as fast as her little legs would carry him down the high street, his face alive with joy. But of course, it didn't last long, and his mother soon outpaced him. But the look on his face said everything. That short moment of freedom meant everything. That child wanted control over his own life. And that is something we value even more as adults. It means everything to us that we can make our own decisions, that we can begin and end our own relationships and choose for ourselves where we live, how we earn. In the Garden of Gethsemane, it is this precious control of his own life that Jesus hands over. He could have avoided the cross and lived life exactly as he wanted, but he doesn't. Not what I want, but what you want, he says, and entrusts himself wholly to the Father. Why? Because he knows 
that it is when we willingly hand our freedom over to God that we find in him a freedom that lasts forever. No matter how much we value the capacity to make private decisions, in the end, that cannot set us free. Whether we like it or not, we are captives. We are chained up by responsibilities and expectations. We are bound fast by sin and death. We find freedom when we sign over the rights to our own lives and offer them to the Father. In the short term, that may not be the easiest of paths, but ultimately it is the path of liberation. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you enter the garden of fear and face the agony of your impending death. Be with those who share that agony and face death unwillingly this day. You shared our fear and knew the weakness of our humanity. Give strength and hope to the dispirited and despairing. To you, Jesus, who sweated blood, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and for ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ our Saviour give us peace. Amen. <laughs>